Welcome everyone to this short webinar about 3D cell culture and cell vivo Klinostar system. Klinostar gives us an environment where we can create physiologically relevant functional 3D tissue-like construct. To study human physiology, we use different models. And we know that regardless if they are based on experimental animals or traditional cell culture, they present several limitations. If we take toxicological studies, we can say that 40 to 50 percent of a drug candidate associated with a hepatotoxicity in humans did not present the same toxicological response in animal models. One of the reasons for the, this discrepancy is the differential expression and activity of a drug metabolizing enzymes between animals and humans that often disturb and make the extrapolation of data difficult. Toxicity must be assessed both in the short and the long-term culture conditions, as it is known that drug-induced liver injury may be developed not only after an acute exposure, but also from the chronic type. For example, where we develop a drug tolerance or we experience the position of unwanted drug metabolites. If we would like to model human liver physiology and use models derived directly from human, in general, we will think about using hepatocytes as a main building block of such a model. We can use primary cells or immortal cell lines. However, the factor which has been overlooked for a very long time is the tissue structure and specificity of cellular placement. Let's say we have been forgetting about tissue geography tissue microenvironment, which is very important for mimicking in vivo-like reaction of our model. When we create a model, we would like that it follow, fulfills following criteria. It should resemble reality. It should be reproducible. It should be long-lasting, enabling a long-term experiment relevant for in vivo situations and it should be abundant and easy to obtain to not restrict, exper restrict experimental setups. In short, a good model should be reproducible, abundant, easy to operate, and in most, it should represent in vivo functionality. Adding the third dimension as a right environment to our in vivo cell cultures. It helps us to get closer to the perfect human tissue model. When we use cell vivo system for culturing human hepatoma cell line, hep 2 c 3 as and created spheroid population, we could observe that the cells dramatically slow down their growth ratio. From approximately 24 hours, which is a non-physiological, very fast uh, rate normally seen in the in vitro traditional monolayer cultures to approximately 70 days doubling time, which is much closer to the physiological in vivo rate. When the cells slow down the proliferation, which is uh, by itself very energy demanding process, we can actually observe that our model is able to slow, uh, show liver specific behavior, such as urea production, cholesterol production. We can also see that the cells cultured as a 3D spheroids present ultrastructure very close to in vivo tissue. In the contrary, in monolayer cultures, we could not recreate such organization. All those changes lead to regaining liver-like functionality. We can actually see that immortal hepatoma cell line grown in the right condition can outperform not only the same cells grown as a monolayer, but also primary hepatocytes cultured in traditional way. As you can see on this graph, the functional spheroid population, challenged with six different known drugs, has a better correlation to in vivo situation compared to the 2D cultures of immortal cell lines, as well as a primary hepatocytes. We can also use this type of model for long-term treatment experiments. 
This graph comes from one of our toxicological studies. Using stable functional steroid culture, it was possible to define threshold for acute lethal treatment, single treatment which induced cellular mortality, chronic lethal treatment, repetitive treatment which in cumulatively induced cellular mortality, and also we were able to show a minimal, minimal reactive dose. All those functional changes are possible because cells are grown in more physiological environment and are allowed to regain tissue-like structure and physiology. It is also important that our model is easy to use and it's capable to produce abundant sample, vol sample volume. To conclude, our cell vivo clinostar based liver model is capable of correctly mimicking in vivo situation, it creates reproducible results, has a long-term living capacity, we have been growing uh, liver spores for almost a year and be able to preserve hepatocyte functionality. The model is also easy to use and produce abundant biomass sample. All this leads to a functional model with a good correlation to in vivo situation and very good predictive power. And with this conclusion sentence, I would like to finish our webinar and thank you very much for your attention and I hope that you will not hesitate to contact us at Selvivo if you have any question. Just follow the information on this slide. Thank you.